this shito label flyer or that shito label flyer in this video me and you are going to look at how to come up with these same designs in adobe photoshop okay so without further ado come with me as i walk you through this amazing designs in adobe photoshop okay so this is the first one and also this is the other one and also you can do us a favor by going to our digital store okay our template paste tag and you get this psd file and you purchase it to support us in one way or the other you can see how well it is arranged over here okay so to start with let's create our canvas size so i'll click on ctrl plus n to open a new document in adobe photoshop okay then i'm going to choose inches over here and i'm going to make the width let's say eight inches and the height is also going to be two inches please you can use a tape measure to take a proper measurement so that when you print your work out it's going to you know it's going to seal the bottle or what you are going to try to paste your label on it okay then i'll click on okay to accept changes okay so this is a bit long for me so let's create a new document and i'm going to make here three inches and click on create so i like this one so i'll close the first one and this is the size that we are going to use so let's do the cheap one before we come to the easy one so with this one let's go with the help of the rectangle tool i'm going to click and drag to draw a rectangle shape just like this and then let's give it a fill color just like this okay and if you can see over here that is basically what we did then i will go back to my source files okay the files that i use for these designs and please i will leave a link in the description below to you so that you have access to these files okay so first of all let's click and drag this into photoshop okay so this is it then from here i'll go to fx over here and then let's click on gradient overlay to add a gradient also i would like to add a stroke on it okay so this is a stroke i want white stroke 17 is cool for me then let's change the gradient overlay color so let's go with something like this okay so let's try and go with something like this or a deep one so let me open this and i'm going to make this one a bit darker so let's increase here and uh, let me flip this one around so reverse and then let's bring this guy a bit in just like this okay and you can find him in this to you know seal to your preference okay all right so i'm going to change the color of this one to this so you can pick the color code then from here let's go back to our source file so i have this that i would like to click and drag this into photoshop so click and drag this one into photoshop and let's increase the size and then from here let's create a clipping mask so i will just right click on it and then i will come here create a clipping mask all right then from here i'm going to change the blending mode of this okay so i'll change the blending mode from normal to soft light and then let's reduce opacity to let's say 20 percent okay or you can go with 25 percent okay all right then from here let's add the name of the shutter or the label okay all right so in this case this is going to be the name for my label and this is the font that i use for this test so you can note it down and you can you know download it from the internet if you don't have access to then from here this one too this is the name of the font okay then from here let's go back to our source files click and drag this into photoshop and i'm going to bring this guy just a little here all right let's reduce the size a bit and increase the size of this so just like this so you know i'll urge you to spend some time to find him in this small small details so that your design is going to get better okay all right so from here let's go back to our source files and click and drag this one into photoshop just like this position it on where you like it and also you can go to fx color overlay and change the color to suit what you are looking for okay so for me let me go with something like this click on okay then let's go back to our source files and i'm going to click and drag this one and i'm going to position this one here and then i can write something like new let's change the color from this to white so it's going to pop 
then from here we are going to add the other details like this and then we will conclude from here all right so this is the first design of the label so let's move on to the next one please don't forget to give us a like on these videos subscribe to the channel if you are new here and also leave your comment below let me know what you think so with the second one too let's go with the same size or the same flow then also with the help of the shapes too we can draw a shape just like this then with this one let's click on ctrl plus t or let's go to edit and click on free transform or let's go to edit transform path and choose this guy over here so let's choose the warp and then we are going to use this guy you know to move it upside down just like this so let's go there again edit transform and then choose the warp let's move this guy here and move this guy up just like this then i'm going to click on this one to accept changes okay then let's move this guy a bit here and ctrl plus j to make a duplicate i'm going to move this one a bit up and also this one a bit down then from here i'm going to add a color to this so with the color i'm going to double click on the thumbnail okay so double click and open then let's use this color so you can copy the color code over here okay then let's change this one to yellow all right a hot yellow okay all right then from here let's click on the background or let's go to our source file so i have this source file that i'm going to leave the link for you guys so i'm going to increase the size of this and please don't forget to get this amazing two psd file and more other psd files on our digital store to help us in one way or the other okay so move it and scale it on how you want it so i'm going to leave mine here click on it to accept changes let's go back to our source files i have this that i also like to add i'm going to position this guy here just like this and then let's go to fx and add a gradient overlay so let's say we are going to go with a gradient like this and also add a stroke on it 17 is okay all right then from here let's go back to our source files and move this one here so we can position this guy here and we can write something like hot reduce the size to fit reduce the size to fit the area okay just like this and let's change the color of this guy to something that we are going to see Control o to fit everything to screen so from here let's add the name of the product all right so this is the name of the product and in this case i also tell it a bit so that it's going to have that slide effect okay all right so from here let's go back to our source files click and drag this into photoshop so i have already removed the background of this so it's going to make it easier for us so i'm going to position this here let's move these guys a bit up position this one well just like this and add this okay so i have this i'm going to add layer max then with the help of the brush to uh, make sure and from here you see that we have white as our foreground color here so let's choose black and then we are going to hide this portion so i'm just going to blend in make sure you check your opacity so let me increase it all, all the way to 100 percent and let's continue to blend in this one okay so let me undo some okay then from here let's go back to our source files click and drag this one into photoshop and i'm going to move it all the way down here and increase the size then change the blending mode from normal to soft light and reduce the opacity and position it how you want it then from here let's clip this one okay as a, a clipping mask so it's going to fit into here only then from here we have this one too that we can add so with this one let's position it here with the help of the ellipse tool let's draw an ellipse okay increase the size a bit and lock this one inside then make a copy of this one and i'm going to move this guy increase the size of this one a bit and let's see let's change the color to white yellow so any of them that you are cool with it you can go with it okay 
Then from here, all we need to do is to add our informations and it will look like this. Amazing, right? So this is how you can come out with a nice or a successful flyer design in Adobe Photoshop. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and be part of this awesome family. Until next time, I'm out.